outside. That's mm -hmm. got a, that, that's a nice uh, it's a nice luxury to have. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, we didn't really have that last year, uh, so for him to come in and, and how he's playing the position, how it is now, being able to run the offense, um, but then also being able to come the ball, come off the ball, and be able to make plays for people and also score for himself, uh, it's really good to see. When you do look back at last year, kind of, just where do you think that? It went wrong essentially for the team. Kind of, what do you think happened last year that you can learn from this season? Uh, I don't really like to look on too much about last year. Uh, but if I had to say anything, I mean, we can always say um, injuries was a, was a big part problem. But uh, it came, it just came down to we just stay on games. Um, I didn't really pick pick a part of it too much. It was just we didn't come up with come up with W. Mm -hmm. And so, but you mentioned that things needed to change. And kind of, what did what changed and kind of did. Coach, ever have any discussions with you as the senior leader, yeah. as the junior leader, about changing? Yeah, that? I think our whole culture changed. Um, I think people just people just recognize that they need to get better, and that's how they're gonna help the team. Um, so we, we call we don't, sometimes we have off days, but there's no off days. So we're either gonna get in and get extra shots, or we're gonna come in before practice, and stay after practice. Um, I think watch more film, just things like that 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 makes that makes player individuals better, um, and, and then they'll come collectively and help the team. Anthony, talk about uh, you got a lot of new weapons this year. Yep. All right, how's can you feel that you know just in your early practices did you have a more explosive, more offensive team than this? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think on the offensive end, uh, I think we have a lot of good good players. Um, I think we got got a lot of good shooters. Um, which is all, all, always a good thing to do. Um, and then when I think when you put good shoes around me, I, I think it's just my job now. I just find them and make sure they can. They, I put them in position to make plays. Yeah, well, last year a lot of it fell on you. You were playing over 40 minutes a game, around 40 minutes a game. And this year it might be uh, maybe a little bit less, but more quality minutes. Mm -hmm. so you looking forward to that. Were you ever tired last year? No, nah, uh, I don't really. You never looked like yeah, it. Yeah, I never really thinking last year when I was tired. Um, but you, you played know. so much. Though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think this year, uh, like you said, more quality minutes. Um, I think play players are going to get an opportunity to be able to make plays uh, when I'm not on the court. Usually, when I'm on the court, the ball is usually in my hand. So um, I think now, when I when I when I do take a couple minutes out, um, it just gives players the opportunities to make plays for for themselves and for others, and really just show what they can do. The addition of some outside shooters has to help you driving. They can't. They just can't do what they were doing last year. Do mm -hmm. you agree? I agree. Um, not only with that, but also just being there playing with Sticks and Ricky, um, being able to pick and pop. Uh, I remember last year, teams really just trying to key in on trying to trap ball screens, so I think it's just going to be a little bit more difficult for them to do that this year. Right. Did you work with Darrell this summer? I mean, the, his his shot really improved, it seems like. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really work with him. Uh, I would probably say I just motivated him more than anything. Um, like I said previously, I just made sure I tried to take on it. I just tried to challenge him. Um, I told him that. For us to be a good, better team, we need you to be able to knock down shots. And obviously, as you can see, he, he's shooting there with confidence, and it just looks good. Are you excited? You are the leader of the band. I mean, you've been here since your third year. Yep. How excited are you about that role that you know, everybody's going to look to you for? Yeah, I mean, I still think people looked at me last year as that, that, that go-to go guy. Yeah, but uh, I mean, just just being being in the position, having having like freshmen. I was telling them I remember, I, I can remember me walking in, coming in, not, not just my, my my mind going crazy, walking in, playing against Melo every day and all that. Um, I think it's now it's just crazy how how tables are kind of turned, and now I'm kind of the older older dude that that people look up to. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Does you go in there in a fearless abandon to the basket and run into some pretty big guys? What's that feel like hitting the floor at full yeah. speed, bouncing off of people? I mean, that's just something you you just do. I mean, I've been. Does it hurt in the moment? Uh, you feel it? Not really. Uh, I mean, I've been the same not size. Not when it goes in, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've been the same size all my life, and I just my game has never really changed. Yeah, um, but those Big Ten centers like I, hitting yeah, linemen. Yeah. I mean, that's just something you just I just got to work on. Uh, mm -hmm. Just me being an older player now, more experienced. I know now I just can't run in there and 
you know, fall down and, you know, because that's just not how your body, body works. So uh, I think it's just me being a smarter player and just knowing when, the, when I need to do that or when I just need to pull it out and maybe get an easier shot. All right. Uh, one thing that's noticeable is you've been working on your tats a little bit. Is there a strategy with that? <laughs> My tats? Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. They, they seem to be growing, have they, yeah, over the summer? No, no, oh, yeah, I got, yeah, just one more on my leg. My, yeah. I promise my mom I won't get any more, though, so you know how that, that can always change, though. But, uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm good off task right now. They hurt okay. too much. All right. <laughs>